This is Mommy Drew from Drew Nation. And today, I'm gonna be getting you ready for the next apocalypse. Welcome back to our channel, guys. It's Mommy Drew here from Drew Nation. Thank you for tuning in today. I have an awesome challenge that I'm gonna do with you guys. But before we get into that challenge, take a pause and do me a big old favor. If my apron's red, give this video a thumbs up. We also want you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Do all those things and we'll greatly appreciate it. So, what am I doing today, guys? I don't know if you can see all the stuff that I have here. Over here, I have some pancake mix, eggs, Swiss Miss chocolate mix, bacon, butter, and over here I have several utensils. What I'm gonna be doing today, guys, I'm gonna be challenging myself to make my family a one-course breakfast on an iron. I'm gonna get myself ready, come back, and watch me master breakfast on an iron. Are you ready? Here we go. So as you guys can see, this is a brand new iron that I got just for this challenge. By the time I'm through with this challenge, all of you out there will be able to cook your family a meal on an iron. And no, I've never done this before, so I really, really do not know how this is gonna turn out. So, have my iron here. I have all the other utensils that I think I'm gonna need to do this challenge. Three pots, the large pot I hope will be able to hold my iron, I'm not sure, I'm gonna try. And then these other two pots is for me to hopefully make some cocoa to go with breakfast. Two bowls for mixing, aluminum foil, cause I gotta try to somehow be able to have the food be stable on the iron. And then I have thongs, a knife, a spatula, my spurtle, Spoon, fork. This iron is from Walmart and I got it specifically for this challenge. Let's see here. Oh, it might work. I'm excited. Let's see, I hope it doesn't shift as I'm working on it because then that would be a mess. There, it's plugged up. The big thing is gonna be taste. So my family will do a taste test once I'm all done. I gotta turn it on. Let's get the batter together for the pancakes. So this is an add water only batter. It has no eggs or anything in it. If you guys follow us long enough, you guys know that Mike is allergic to eggs. So that said, just add water. I checked the ingredients and the ingredients are milk and wheat. So you can have it. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to make a huge pancake on this little surface. So I'm gonna make silver fives. You know what a silver five is? Silver five are those little tiny pancakes that you get from IHOP. Drew loves the silver five, so I'm gonna make my own silver fives today. If I can ever figure out how to open this thing. All right guys, so two cups of this, one and a half cup of water. I'm not gonna follow the instructions exactly because I don't want the mix to be too watery because I need it to stay. I'm trying to stir careful so that I don't make a huge mess. I think I need a bigger bowl. There. I think while I'm at this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crack the eggs as well. I don't know if this heater is gonna turn itself off, so I need to like get moving. I don't know if it's hot enough to like melt the butter. Whew. That's good to go. Now, let me crack some eggs. It's still hot. I hope it's hot enough to cook though. Will it get hot enough to cook? Only Drew and Daddy can eat the eggs, so three should be enough. So, the iron has little holes in it, see? So I have to create a way of cooking on this surface, of course, without having the stuff fall into a hole. So, I'm gonna try aluminum foil. These are the pre-cut ones. I'm gonna try to make a little pot out of this, unless it's gonna work, guys. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Create a little bowl-like. That's my pot. 
I'm going to take my butter. It's melting. It's melting. Now let's put some pancake batter on there and see if I can make a pancake. Here it goes. I'm going to put it on little by little. Hope it works. So this is a small pancake. It's literally bubbling. It's sizzling. You guys gotta see this. Come on, look. It's bubbling, it's sizzling. It is sizzling. We're getting the little bubble action around the edges. Look, 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 look. Look, pancakes. It's working. This is literally working, guys. I think I'm gonna have a pancake. Can you guys hear it? It's literally sizzling. I think I'm gonna attempt a flip. Bam! <laughs> pancake! Feels like pancake. It's golden brown. Not as dark as I would want it, but it's a pancake. I'm gonna adjust my heat some. I think that's max. I'm gonna flip it again. I think I'm gonna call this one done. It's kinda soft. One pancake. I'm gonna try to get two pancakes on here this time, guys. Two. I think this is ready to flip. Bam! <laughs> this one's a little soft still, but let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Bam! I don't know why I'm enjoying this, guys, but I am. I'm making them small enough to try to get the heat all the way through. Have you ever rented one of those hotel rooms where they charge you an arm and a leg, but they're so cheap, they don't even give you a microwave? But guess what they do give you? An iron. Joke's on them. Bam. Next up, the bacon. So this bacon is an uncured turkey bacon and I like it because it doesn't shrink a whole lot. I don't hear any sizzling. Oh, might be hearing some. Trying to make sure every surf, every piece is touching a surface of the iron. It's literally sizzling. Do you hear it? Ah, guys, the bacon, the bacon is looking good. So I wanna get the bacon to cook a little faster, guys. So I'm gonna set this on top of it like that. And I'm gonna put a press on it. And I'm making this little pot my press. There we go. It is smelling good in this kitchen. This smells so good. And I think these first two pieces of bacon, yep, they're done. Got it. Now I'm gonna weigh it down again. So I just thought about something. I have to make the kids hot cocoa and everything has to be done on the iron. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna use the pot that I'm using as a weight to start boiling my water for the hot cocoa. So let's see how that works out. I realized that I needed to change out the aluminum foil that I had been using. Um, it was sweating and it, it seems like it was putting a little oil on the surface of the iron. So. I swap it out, and then I came up with this brilliant idea right here to finish up the last two pieces of bacon. I just wrapped the bacon up in the aluminum, see? And fold it over, and now I'm gonna weigh it down. Let's see how that does. Ooh, hear the sizzle. You hear the sizzle? <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, yeah. Looking wow, good. I just want to get 
A little more browning right there. Let's get a little more browning there. This will be finished in the next couple of seconds. This will be all done. And we'll be moving on to our eggs. These final two pieces of bacon looks fantastic. I'm glad I used turkey bacon because turkey bacon doesn't have a whole lot of oil. It's lean and so it doesn't create a big mess or a chance for an accident. So my bacon's all done. So now it's time for eggs. I wanna get a fresh piece of aluminum foil. Got a little bowl going on. Now I'm gonna put some butter in there for the eggs. Egg seems like it may be the most difficult to do. There. Ooh, it's cooking. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute so it can cook up before I stir it up anymore. So what I did was made sure I shaped the aluminum foil in the shape of the iron so that all the parts of the eggs on there and it can cook. So I decided I'm gonna add a little pepper and salt while it's in here. So I'm using the side of the fork so that I don't tear my aluminum. We have scrambled eggs. All right, I decided to change utensils. Looking pretty good. So this is the last of the eggs. It looks pretty good. Let's add this to the rest of our eggs that we have down here. Making sure it doesn't touch the turkey because you know, my can't have eggs. Now we're gonna get the water going for our hot cocoa. Remember, I had this steaming a little bit while I was doing some of the other cooking before. So let's see if the iron can bring this water to a boil. It's boiling, guys. Breakfast is almost ready. I think the water is as hot as it's gonna get. We have a little bit of bubbles like you guys saw earlier, but it hasn't started like bubbling any more than that. I'm gonna consider that hot. So we're nearing the end here. I'm gonna make the boys hot cocoa. This is the last thing that we're cooking on our iron griddle. See all that steam? I think it's hot enough. The marshmallows are melting, so it must be warm enough. It's time to plate this meal and let my family tell me if it tastes just as good as if it was cooked on a stove. I'm gonna turn this off now. You guys see, you can tell I was cooking on it. There. All right guys, so I'm gonna plate this up. Get my husband, Mike, Andrew, to all come and test the food. They're gonna let you guys know how it tastes. All right, guys. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Mommy made you guys breakfast. And of course, you're like, why are we test tasting the breakfast? I did something a little bit different. Two of you know what the difference is. One probably don't, I don't know. But I'm gonna have you guys taste your silver fives. Let's show everybody your silver fives. Nice, perfectly brown silver five pancakes. Actually, golden five. Ooh, yeah. So let's taste. I want you guys to tell me how it tastes. What do you think? Try your hot cocoa. Mmm. Mm. Tastes good. It's airy inside. It's airy inside. Tastes mm -hmm. pretty good. Right. How does it taste, Michael? It tastes good. It tastes good. It's I don't cooked know. well on the inside. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is. Can't tell the difference? Tastes no? good to me. Andrew, tastes good? Bacon nice, crispy? Well, tastes like 
Buttery? I don't know. Buttery! That's good. That's good. Is your cocoa hot? Is your cocoa hot, Angie? Mm -hmm. Michael, taste your cocoa. Mm -hmm. Taste your cocoa. Tell me how it tastes. Is it nice? Is it warm? And it's warm. Ooh, yeah. It's good? Mm -hmm. Can you figure out the difference? Butter? You think it's butter? In the pancakes. Cinnamon? You taste any cinnamon? Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reveal to you what it is. No, I no, cooked no. the entire meal on this. <laughs> you did an amazing job. <laughs> you wanna touch it? Touch it. Don't keep your hand on there because it's hot. Why would you do that? It was a challenge. I cooked your entire breakfast on a including iron. This. Yes. I heated the water for it, all on this. Mm. Good job. Good job, great job. Good, ain't it? Ooh. Why are you making up your face now, Michael? It's like, it tastes good, but- It does taste it good. With an iron, so I it's cooked like, it on an iron. It's amazing that you got the same textures, the same, it's cooked all the way through. How'd you get the bacon to get- I'm gonna take this with me. So guys, me and my iron just amazed my family. You guys better thank me, because I have just prepared you for the next apocalypse. You're gonna be ready for when you need to use this iron to make your family a meal. Give this video a thumbs up. You know it deserves a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Follow us on social media. We love all you guys. We thank all you guys for following us. Give this video a big thumbs up. This is Mommy Drew saying, B to the Y. Bye.